festivals are crucial, um, you know, first of all for the dialogue. I mean, it's, it's really, whenever I go to, uh, to festivals, I meet filmmakers from everywhere else in the world. And, um, you know, it's, it's really important uh, as part of the process of developing a cinematic language, which is an ongoing process. Um, and in Israeli, I find uh, the participation of Israeli movies in festivals really essential because people tend to misunderstand the situation so much. And again, people tend to think, think in terms of, of black and white. And uh, I remember the first time I saw The Crying Game, you know, uh, people tend to think of, uh, of, of, of Ireland and the IRA and the political situation here in, in very specific terms. And the two days I've been here and I spoke to two cab drivers and then a waiter, and I've learned more about that than, than uh, I've learned from history lessons, you know. So it's really interesting to see stories, you know, presented by filmmakers with different points of view, uh, all of which are committed you know, to, uh, to human values and it's very important to have it shown around the world as though to gain greater understanding of what actually is going on for better, for better or for worse. So I find participation in film festivals, first of all, just, just delightful but also uh, really essential for the development of, uh, you know, of local cinema such as the Israeli one. God, this film festival is hugely important. It's an only shame. I was only just saying it's a, it's a shame that they couldn't get these into mainstream. Most of these movies are a lot better than the the mainstream movies, and a lot of the actors that are in the a lot of the other ones will will tell you that as well. It's true to their hearts, isn't it? And they do the others for the for the dosh. Absolutely. Um, and and it's it's hugely important to support the arts like this, you know. And they're mostly great great stories and well made too, with a lot of passion. The film is made because I run a record label that's predominantly Hispanic and they, a lot of people thought it was very odd that uh, an Irish guy runs a Mexican rock and roll label. Uh, the film is actually about my family, which are the artists on the label. I've got 150 artists who are predominantly Hispanic uh, and I treat them like my family. That's the whole thing in the movie. I mean, we're very excited to be showing it to an Irish audience tonight. We showed it in Berlin last week and the Germans loved it and they laughed but laughed in the right places which is important for a, a, a comedy. Um, so we, we're very curious but hopefully we're optimistic um, but we're really looking forward to showing it to an Irish audience. Yeah very uh, much I think the film has come home. I've, I've um, been around the script for a long time around five years more or less since the first time they that I, I read it and um, it's changed and, and improved a lot and when it came to happen um, it was uh, set in Dublin and so it had another change in the script to make it a Dublin film not just any film that you have to you know in that sense Dominic and Teresa I think are and they hired a scriptwriter from here called Eugene I think that was lovely because it's not, you know, I'm going to do my film, whatever. And if it's Dublin, I don't care if it's Dublin or Moscow. It's, okay, it's Dublin, so let's go into this and see what happened and how we can use it. And they found Coddle and they found the football and 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 really it, it, it wouldn't be able to happen in any other city that was in Dublin. Yeah.